Allah says in the Quran, please stay with me, that it is unbefitting. Allah says, it is unbefitting for the believing man and the believing woman that when Allah and His Prophet have declared a matter, that the believing man or woman should have, should have an opinion on the issue. Whose words? The deen of Allah is not a game, my brothers. The deen of Allah is not a conversation. Wallah. It's not like the World Cup where we sit down and we speak about this player and that player and this team and that team. But the deen of Allah is complete, it's perfected. My job and your job is to submit fully. Wallahi. And please take these words very carefully because I know it's going to open a lot of doors of fitna for some people. I would just rather someone say to me, look, the deen of Allah is perfect, but I'm just weak. I can't do this act of worship. I'm not giving you excuses, but I would rather you say, look, the deen of Allah is perfect. But I just can't do this currently right now. But inshallah, I'm working on it. Then to twist and play with the deen of Allah so that it suits your whims and your desires. This deen is based on submission, obedience, my brothers. That when Allah says jump, we say what? How high? And don't let this door of logic, no, but brother, you know what? I'm thinking about it logically. Habibi, wallahi, you can use logic to establish Allah. In deen, you can use logic. Yani if there's a non-Muslim, we say to the non-Muslim that he can use his logic to establish the existence of God. But once you've done this, once you've established the existence of God, and you've established that Allah Azza wa Jal exists, and that he has a book and he has a prophet. We now tell you to put your logic where? Where do you put your logic? Habibi, put it aside. I'm not disrespecting it. But in Islam, it's no longer logic, it's submission.